this episode, I think, will be coming soon after one with Nick Bostrom, where we, we didn't speak so much about the simulation hypothesis, but his works on his recent work on utopia. But are there things that you would suspect or expect to see in our physics that would be indicative of our being in a simulation or to put it in other words, are there things that we see in our physics that come close to ruling out our being in a simulation? I don't think you can rule it out, um, but I don't see any evidence for it either. Uh, I don't see anything at all that is better explained by saying we live in a simulation than we don't. Um, if we saw, you know, occasional miraculous deviations from the known laws of physics, I might feel different, but we don't. If we saw some fundamental resolution limit or uh, if our universe was very, very small and clearly optimized to uh, re conserve some kind of resource, then I might see a different uh, point of view. But just as a Bayesian with certain priors, nothing that I see about the universe increases the likelihood that it's a simulation for me. Okay, this is really this the part about there being some fundamental resolution limit is quite striking, just because I know that many of the quantum theories of gravity are predicated on an assumption that space is fundamentally a lattice, like uh, causal set theory, which I mentioned earlier, or Stephen Wolf from Ruliad, space is discrete. And a lot of this comes from really ancient intuitions, like with Zeno's paradoxes, and also, I mean, some unease with fields and space being continuous. That just doesn't sit well with some people. So one, I guess, if causal set theory or something like the program of the Ruliad were verified in some way and space was shown to be a lattice, would that lend credence to you to the idea that we are in a simulation? Well, the causal set theory and Wolfram's theory, um, two things about them. Number one, neither one of them is a very good theory of quantum gravity. So I, I'm not paying a lot of attention. But number two, they're very different theories. Causal set theory is still based on quantum mechanics. And quantum mechanics is based on the continuum. Schrodinger's equation and Hilbert space and time and all those things are absolutely continuous in quantum mechanics. So you might quantize a lattice, but the quantum theory, the wave functions themselves still live in a continuum. Uh, Wolfram's theory is, is different. That is fundamentally discrete, but it's also, as far as I can tell, very, very far away from matching the real world. So again, I'm just not that moved by that. If something like that turns out to be true, call me up again later. <laughs>